Gary is live at NASA Ames Research Center to explain. Jesse? Great, Christina. Everybody likes great news on a Friday. This will be the second semiconductor chip manufacturing and research and development facility in the country. Experts and politicians agree this will be a boon far beyond the local economy and tech. It's really great news. You know, uh, for us, we are really excited to finally hear that the that um, the location is being announced. Friday smiles abound for Sunnyvale's mayor and staff at City Hall. This after federal officials saying this city will be home to the next Chips for America design and collaboration facility. So this is a big day, a big day for the Valley. People all over the world have tried to emulate the synergistic energy around science and technology that we have here, and no one can do it. The need for the nation to step up its game in the growing industry of semiconductor chip manufacturing and research and development became painfully apparent during the COVID crisis. Technology is everywhere. It's not just some off-in-the-corner highfalutin thing. Those chips operating everything from cars to tech to home appliances were in short supply a few years ago, and transit from Asia stymied by the spread of the virus. We started the whole semiconductor industry here in Silicon Valley, and then it's, you know, uh, it's manufactured somewhere else uh, uh, outside the United States, and now we're going to bring it back. And to bring it back, you have to have the real environment and the tools. Experts say the new facility will create 200 jobs immediately and many more after that, provide training in manufacturing, be an incubator for new companies, and provide a government-private sector collaboration based here instead of Washington. Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren says California was in competition with the state of Texas, which sweetened its offer with cash. But federal officials weren't swayed and went with the South Bay. If we want to stay ahead of the game, if we want to uh, make sure that China does not succeed in their uh, race uh, with us, we have to put our best foot forward, and that best foot forward is Silicon Valley. Federal, state, and city officials must still hammer out locations outside of NASA Ames. Mayor Larry Klein says decisions made today will pay dividends for decades. What we're doing here will help the whole region because it's all those partners. It's partnering with our businesses and, and businesses in those neighboring cities, but it's also with the education facilities. Those education facilities, Stanford, San Jose State, Santa Clara, the new Berkeley Extension, they'll provide the next generation of innovators. All these details yet to be worked out. We're live outside NASA Ames, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox News. Greg, have a great weekend. Yeah.